morning and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I just finished filming a video. It's actually Tuesday today. I'm coming to you a little bit later in the week than normal, but um, I was away in Newfoundland last week. So I'm just kind of playing catch up, getting back into the swing of things. So I just filmed the first look for my Anastasia Soft Glam Three Looks One Palette. If that is up, I will list it down below and kind of a get ready with me for the rest of this face makeup that will go up on Instagram. So as always, anything I talk about will be listed down below, but getting ready to head out the door now I'm going to a Shea Moisture event which is really exciting they're doing like kind of their official Canadian launch so I've got to head out the door in about 15 minutes but I wanted to harness getting ready and film all of that because um I don't know because I like to be ahead of the game and do my work first thing in the morning I have no explanation for it anyways um not totally sure what's happening this week I know I have three events consecutively tomorrow night um but other than that I really don't know what's happening but I missed you guys it feels like so long since I vlogged because it's been about a week and a half maybe two weeks or something like that uh and it just feels like forever since I've spoken to you so I thought um you would come along this week so let's head to the event this is what I'm wearing in case you're curious I don't have shoes on yet but black fashion nova jeans that i wear every day of my life this is a forever 21 bla uh not a blazer this is a bodysuit and then this is new from fashion nova i'm probably gonna do a fashion nova haul because i've bought a bunch of stuff from them i continue to buy stuff from them i absolutely love um everything i've gotten and i thought that this little jackety thing was super cute so that's what i'm wearing and there's my mess I am just back from the Shea Moisture event. It was awesome. It's going to be available at Walmart, walmart.ca. I actually bought um, a leave-in conditioner from Shea Moisture at Walmart uh, last week, not realizing that they were doing like their official launch and whatnot. So let me show you what I got. I'm about to make lunch. I'm going to be including some of my like food stuff this week as well because I know you guys liked it last week. And I actually, since um, starting tracking i track uh, my calories on my fitness pal which is the the way that i find best to um kind of control what i'm eating hi who is it who is this cat hi sweet baby here's what i got you can see the we have Popeyes this weekend for the first time. Uh, anyways, so it is, they recommended the coconut and hibiscus line to me. So I have the Curl and Shine shampoo, style milk, enhancing smoothie. I've used the pudding before, and then that is the conditioner. And then this was something else she recommended because I've never really dabbled in clarifying shampoos. And she said this is a good one for curly hair and it doesn't strip the hair, but it kind of gets rid of like the built up gunk. So this is the Jamaican black castor oil um, shampoo. And then while I was at Shoppers, I found, excuse me, unrelated to everything, but I thought I would show you. <laughs> it's the new Diet Cokes. So this one is black cherry. I love anything black cherry, feisty cherry, sorry. And then this one is, what is it? Twisted mango. So I'll try these later on. Um, and right now I'm gonna eat lunch. I just realized the whole point of me talking to you about food was because I wanted to tell you I've lost five pounds. I'm just trying to find my scale here. I'm so excited. Um, I describe my previous uh, way of eating as like a five-year-old with a babysitter, aka like I can eat whatever I want and do whatever I want. Um, but then your body is like, oh no, you can't. Uh, <laughs> so I'm really excited and I'm, I'm still like, the only thing I've done really is kind of cut calories for the most part and just kind of controlled I haven't even been working out that much but when you eat whatever you want and then you stop eating everything that you want um, then obviously you're gonna lose weight it's just a calories in versus calories out kind of thing so I've started to incorporate some at-home workouts so I'll show you those um, maybe this week or next week um, my boyfriend kind of created a plan for me and I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really excited. I'm loving testing new recipes. So I'll be showing you all of that. I'm having salmon for lunch now. I'm making a, a sandwich. I was eating the salmon and rice and spinach for lunch that I showed in my last vlog. I was getting kind of sick of that. So last night I, in my head, kind of concocted an idea. So I'm going to do a kind of salmon sandwich. There's a restaurant in Newfoundland called Yellow Belly. And I used to get like a salmon BLT there, which was good. And this is not going to have bacon, lettuce, or tomato on it. But, but um, the idea of a salmon sandwich really appealed to me. I'm going to put a little curry powder on it. And that's what I'm having for lunch. So I'm still like super feeling very, very motivated. And uh, when I was home in Newfoundland, it was tough. But as soon as I got there, I went grocery shopping, 
bought all the same food that I have here in, in Toronto so that I didn't go off track. I did go to Mary Brown's three times in seven days. If you're not familiar with Mary Brown's, it's like a fried chicken place and it started in Newfoundland, but there's a few, there's one in Toronto, one in Alberta maybe. Anyways, I went there three times, but the way that I kind of allotted my calories, I still obviously went over, but not by a ton. And when I would get like the fried chicken sandwich, I wouldn't eat the bun. I'd get the mayo on the side. Still got my gravy, obviously. So it's kind of like a modified version. I still felt very, very satisfied. We had Popeyes on Saturday night. Like I'm not starving myself by any means. I'm just eating like a regular human should <laughs> and not going crazy. So anyways, I'm gonna make this sandwich. I'll show you it when it's done, but I think it's gonna be really good. So here is my lunch. Doesn't look that exciting. Just some wilted spinach here and my ciabatta bun with salmon and then a curry mayo that I made, which is curry powder, mayo, garlic, and salt. And this is it, this is about 450 calories and I'm so excited. And uh, I did mention this in my last video, but I will mention it again. I do eat breakfast like if I'm hungry, but if I'm not hungry, I just skip it. And yes, I know, I need new plates. But now I'm gonna go watch Imposters. It's um, newish on Netflix and I've really been liking it. So what do you think about a what I eat in a day video? I watch a lot of them. The majority that are out there that I see anyways and that are suggested to me are vegan or they're specific to a certain diet like keto or low carb or whatever but I feel like I don't see any what I eat in a days where I'm like oh I can like relate to this sorry <laughs> as I eat <laughs> a bowl of Fruit Loops if you watch my last vlog you'll know that Fruit Loops are my like mid-afternoon snack <laughs> um I find them really satisfying and delicious and still within my caloric goal obviously not the healthiest but I do eat things like that and I don't eat super clean I don't eat low carb, high fat, gluten free, anything. I have no limits on my diet besides calories and even then I'm not like super strict to it. So what do you think? Let me know if you'd like a what I eat in a day because that is what works for me and you know I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not an expert by any means but I do know that what you put in your body, the amount of calories is obviously going to um, affect your weight and if you cut some calories then you'll probably cut some weight in my case anyways so far so um yeah let me know what you think on that i thought i would show you this i'm getting ready to film my highlighter declutter if it is live it will be linked down below a lot of you are asking me for a makeup collection video but i haven't done one because my makeup collection is so messy that it just it's so bad but i thought i would give you a little behind the scenes here's my high-end highlighter drawer i've already taken out this many i've got these here then i have my drugstore highlighter drawer so it's just out of control it's i'm not embarrassed of it but i just know that people get so wound up about excessive collections and i mean i've had my makeup collection going on six years um a lot of a lot of pr sometimes brands will send you like you know five highlighters at a time if they're sending you their whole collection or whatever it may be so it adds up really quickly and I haven't decluttered anything for the sole purpose of doing a declutter video but it just has gotten so out of control so I'm going to sorry this hope this isn't too loud I'm going to film it now and as always anything that I'm getting rid of will either be given to a friend, family member, anything new that can be donated will be donated to Sistering who I've talked about before so I'm gonna do this now. And if you've ever wondered how I film my declutter, it's very professional, all the best equipment. <laughs> I put my um, tripod on top of a chair so that I can get a better view and then I just have this blanket over my island which everybody always is like freaking out about getting it dirty. It's like a $20 blanket. It's okay. <laughs> Anyways, time to declutter. So this is what we're working with. I just put them all out. I'm going to count them now and begin decluttering. If this video is up, I will uh, link it down below and you can see how I did. Coming to you looking like an absolute glamazon. Oh my god. I just took a little nap. I'm so wiped. I woke up at 5 o'clock this morning and um, I've been sleeping pretty well lately, but for whatever reason last night, I just did not sleep well. So just took a little nap. I think it was for like 35 minutes or something. I have no idea. But um, not much else happening today. I had a bunch of like calls and stuff, working on a few potential contracts, hopefully, fingers crossed, <laughs> um, and doing some like behind the scenes kind of things. Let me know if you'd like to see more like 
of the business side of it because I feel like a lot of people don't talk about that when it comes to YouTube but maybe it's boring or maybe we want to continue like the whole smoke and mirrors thing <laughs> so let me know if you'd like me to leave the curtain up or not anyways just getting ready to paint my nails this is a new cnd polish it's such a pretty shade it's in the shade candied i actually have their whole new spring collection here so there's like a blue and a yellow that looks kind of green there but it's kind of like a yellowy green and then there's also a purple so it's like very quintessential like eastery spring color so i'm gonna paint my nails with the pink um and have some fresh nails for tomorrow so i've got so many things happening tomorrow and i'd like to have a fresh set of nails and yeah, let me try this Coke Zero here. Not, not Coke Zero, Diet Coke, the cherry. I have high hopes because I'm a huge Coke Zero fan and I love black cherry stuff, so. Mm. I think it tastes how you would expect it to taste. It tastes, like at first you can't taste the black cherry and then it comes in real strong at the end, but I kind of like it. Kind of don't, kind of like it. I don't know, I don't hate it. <laughs> Anyways, whoopsie. Now I'm just going to paint my nails and uh, I'm just trying to delay dinner honestly. Sometimes when I am trying to delay eating, I'll paint my nails because that means I can't do anything with my hands. <laughs> so that's so bad, like you have that little willpower. But my boyfriend's at work so I'm just waiting for him to get home so that we can eat dinner together. But I'm feeling hungry. Hi baby! Rue has been insane today. I don't know what's going on. Like she's having a moment today. She's been crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna go paint my nails. I don't know where I just ended up on Netflix. I was watching a show called Beauty and the Beach, which was about women who go for cosmetic uh, like getaways, vacations, whatever it may be. And they travel to Thailand to get surgeries. And it actually looked like the hospitals and stuff looked really, really good. Anyways, besides the point. I'm going down like that trash route of Netflix and now it has suggested unveiled which is women getting plastic surgery like right before their wedding or cosmetic procedures and it's like so dramatic for better or for worse and I guess they're acting like the husbands are just seeing their brides on the wedding day after their surgeries anyways this is this is where I've ended up this evening Morning guys, a little behind the scenes of my monthly makeup basket, just getting ready to film it. It will already be live, so I will link to it down below. And the beauty of my monthly makeup basket now is that you guys seem to be down with <laughs> me not having like a formal intro and outro, so I'm no joke sitting here with my hair wet, naked, just out of the shower, but I want to um, film this and start editing it this morning because I've got a crazy busy day. I have four events and monthly makeup baskets, although they are um, somewhat easy to film because I'm just kind of showing you things. The description box where I have to list this entire box of products takes quite a bit of time to get through. So I want to get ahead of it now. Okay, I'm all dressed and ready to go now. I have so many things happening today. It's a big day. I have a Guerlain lunch, which is happening in about a half hour. So I'm going to head out the door to that. And it's at this really snazzy hotel on the 44th floor. I got the invitation yesterday. I was like... Was this, was this supposed to come to me? Anyway, super excited about that. Then I have a Makeup Forever Masterclass, which I'm excited about, but also kind of mm, about because I need to take off my makeup and I've always got a lot of breakouts and stuff. Not that I'm embarrassed of it, but it's just like, everyone's gonna take off their makeup and have like great skin and then I'm not. And then that means I'm probably gonna have to redo my makeup after that because I have the Makeup Forever event from like four to six-ish. Then from six to eight, I'm going to a Nivea event where Tessa Virtue is gonna be there, the figure skater, so that's so cool. And then after that, that event will end around eight. And then at eight o'clock, I have a launch party for my friend Steph slash Glamzilla. She is on a show that Kim Kardashian recently produced called Glam Master. So this is kind of like the launch party and I am so incredibly proud of her. I am so glad to call her my friend and honored to call her my friend. So I'm really excited. This is from Fashion Nova. It feels a little bit like, I don't know, different for me, but I'm like, you know what, screw it, let me wear it. But I wanted to mention two things that I've been trying recently that I've really been liking. The first is from Moroccan Oil. This is their Body Buff Rose Petal Exfoliant. I don't know if you can see, but it has like an iridescence to it. It's so good. And then this was sent to me by Diva Curl, which is so exciting. Um, but this is something new to them. This is their Wash Day Wonder. It's a pre-cleanse slip detangler. 
and I really liked that. I wasn't sure at first, and it's something you use before shampoo and conditioner on days where you really need to detangle, you really need to get in there and wash. And I put it in my hair and I started detangling, and I was like, okay, it feels good. But then when I went to wash it out with my shampoo, I got such a nice lather, my hair was so soft, everything felt so good. So really impressed with that. And then today my hair, my curls look, um, so defined. I used the Mark Anthony mousse again and I just more or less completely let my hair air dry and that's what gives it the majority of the definition. Then I go in with my hair dryer. I still need to zhuzh it a little bit. It doesn't have the volume that I generally look for um, but yeah the curls look so good and smooth. I need to get more highlights in because I got my hair cut last month and a lot of my highlights have kind of disappeared. But anyways that's what's happening today very busy day so uh let's get to it i also forgot to mention that i'm a little bit like hesitant about today i guess not hesitant but um i have kind of avoided going to some events recently because i am trying to lose weight and when you go to these events like obviously there's food like i'm going to a lunch i've got this huge bag of highlighters to bring um to the nivea event later to give to my blogger and youtube friends but anyways um there's always food and stuff. So like, I'm not gonna go to a lunch and not eat. I wanna be able to enjoy myself. I wanna be able to um, not be like, I'll have a green salad. Like, I love trying new places, trying new restaurants and going to events like this is such a good opportunity to do that kind of stuff. But at the same time, like I don't need to. So today is gonna be a little bit of a bust food wise. But anyways, if you're wondering what's on my lips, this little nubbin, it's the Makeup Forever Aqualip in 3C. I love this and that's all I have on my lips. I figured it will last long through um, through lunch. So, and I also don't know anybody at this Garland lunch or like, I mean, I, I, I will probably know somebody, but I don't, um, I'm not sure who's gonna be there. So hopefully I know somebody because at a lunch, like you've got to like sit down and talk and all that kind of stuff. So anyways. Hi, good, how are you? Good. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you so much. Hello. Oh my God. I'm just getting in the door. <laughs> My hair is falling flat. Hi, baby cat. Where were you, mom? Wow. I missed you. I got to go back out again. I was at the Girlland lunch for three and a half hours. <laughs> it was amazing, though. It's just, it feels so good to sit around with other um, kind of creators and YouTubers and stuff and just talk about the biz, sorry, and our struggles and strategies and all that kind of stuff it just feels really good and talking to girl it's not about you i'm um, talking to the team at Guerlain and i just sometimes when i'm in these situations i just like look around and i'm like what is my life what is going on rue this is my moment <laughs> and i just feel really proud of myself um when i have days like today anyway so i don't think i'm gonna have time to come home after makeup forever before nivea so i'm probably just gonna pack a bag of makeup and see how my makeup turns out at the makeup forever event and then go to nivea and then go to the other event after that uh, because i'm just realizing like the traffic is crazy and getting around going to like three different locations i i, sh I don't have time to come home so quickly just going to um grab my makeup bag i don't know how i'm gonna fit my makeup bag and then that whole bag of highlighters Rue man calm down and that whole bag of highlighters in a bag but uh we'll see and the location for that girl aunt event just i was crazy um but yeah really good day today um real i love you but you're too loud here with Osa, the most gorgeous and we just got BMW. matched to an uber select for free i know bmw just you know classic beamer is this it i didn't check yeah, the I license plate i always have to check i heard about like braves <laughs> i know <laughs> let me check just like get in and then if he says to me no it's not rude to check it's life or death check your uber yeah, license plate before you get in okay make sure they say your name oh my gosh she's okay. getting first grab <gasps> 
at my Thank highlighter. You so much. Well, you're gonna take that Dior one, yes, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Just because it's Dior. I know. I, I didn't even try it on. I, I, I've been holding on to four of them just because they're Dior. Oh, but I was no, like, this for sure. Yeah, that's gonna be gorgeous. Get in my bag. There you go. Take that. Yeah. You know, it's so crazy though, because I'm kind of feel like I'm going further and further away from highlighters. I know. I think I it's just for variety's sake, right? Yeah. I used to be a highlighter junkie. Same as like I was all about full coverage, and now I'm going lighter this coverage. One. Just because it's Dior. Yep. That means, Glamzilla, you are the last one standing and will be moving on to the semifinals. I'm ready to take these last two. home it is really late it's almost midnight i'm never out this late Rue's freaking out my boyfriend's really mad <laughs> he's like sleeping and Rue's screaming shh you're getting me in trouble shh. anyways i just came here to say that the um obviously you can see my breakouts but the uh physician's formula foundation i am so obsessed with that i love it if you haven't tried it try it it held up so well it looks so good on the skin um and it's amazing anyways um i'm gonna go ahead and wash my face <laughs> put my hair up and go to bed i have been um at events for 11 hours and i am fresh out of charisma i've run out of chatty things to say and i'm going to bed but something really exciting just happened i just got a delivery from halo top who it is oh hi guys it's me again 